Hmm. You've summoned me. Is it really a wise decision? You know what I am, don't you? I mean, after all, why would anyone summon a demon? What sort of deranged thing do you think I'm going to offer you, human? What is it that you think I'm going to do for you that won't cost you dearly? <laughs> We're not the good guys in the story. You know better than that. The father of lies. Half-truths. You know the sort of shenanigans we like to get up to. <laughs> hmm. All right. So what'll it be for your immortal soul? Fame. Fortune. Love, perhaps? <laughs> What will be the price of your soul? <laughs> Wait. You're telling me that you did not summon me for such things? You want to go on a date? With somebody in the realm of humans, or...? You picked me out of that grimoire. I'm sorry. I think we have a fundamental misunderstanding of what my purpose and what my whole shtick is, and most of the people in that book are of the same ilk as I am, so maybe we need to look at what it is you're really doing here. I'm not one to offer judgment, but are you sure you know what you're doing with this thing? It's a very powerful tome. You know, if you're looking for a laugh for the price of your human soul, I, might I offer G's? He's in the J area. He's great with this sort of thing. Loves humans. Has bunch of medals. Goes on and on about it. <laughs> Fine. All right, tell me about this date you want to go on. Hopefully it's a good one, if it's going to be costing your soul. I'm, again, not trying to pass judgment here, but I'm just saying you could get a little bit more mileage from that thing. You could really leverage a bit more. You really don't want to? You don't think it's that important? You do know what eternal damnation is, right? Like, we've written books about it for you people. Did Dante teach you nothing? Did Virgil lead him through hell for absolutely no purpose? Oh, fine. I know I shouldn't be complaining about where my next meal is going to come from. Dinner. Do you mind if I call you dinner? Um, but still, it's rather embarrassing for you, don't you think? Oh, were you expecting me to have manners? Me, the hellspawn, the fallen angel, the thing that was cast out of heaven. You wanted me to have good manners? You really do need to curb your expectations and read a book sometime. <laughs> Rude! You're asking me to take you on a date. You don't even know me. What did you expect was going to happen? You think that this was going to be some fairy tale and that you were going to change my ways? Honey, I've been around for thousands of years. Nothing you can do or say by being little, old, insignificant unremarkable you could ever change my being. 
You know what you're doing here, really, is you're throwing away a good deal. Listen. I'm not about to tell you how to live your life. You don't want to reach the big man who rejected us. You don't want to give your soul to him for whatever cockamamie reason. Sure. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. There are a thousand ways to damn yourself, and they're all really fucking easy. But if this is how you choose to throw away your immortal soul... <laughs> Uh, I should just do it. I should just do it. It's such an easy meal. And no offense, I know it's more like a snack. I mean, it's not like your soul is very brave or, again, remarkable in any way. So it, I mean, I'd probably be chewing for, what, maybe a year on you before I get bored and find the next. <laughs> but a meal's a meal. A snack is a snack, and I am very hungry, so I'll tell you what. I'll take you on the most remarkable date. You tell me, describe to me, paint to me a word picture. What is your favorite idea for a date? Sitting on the couch watching TV. No offense, but are you, are you serious right now? That's maybe, like, second, third, or even fourth date. You know, the whole Netflix and... Ch oh. Oh, 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 oh! Are you trying to take advantage of me? Are you trying to... Oh. You're trying to fool around with me. For my soul. Oh, that's precious. Oh. Is that what this is about? Oh, I mean, we can skip straight to that if you want. I mean, we can make it... Uh, a little bit more foreplay-ish if you want, and then, of course, I get to chew on your soul for eternity. Um, no? Then, what, you just want companionship? Don't you have one of those f dating apps or something like that? <sighs> Listen, my time isn't precious, but yours time... Eh... I mean, you're wasting it, but I mean, it's still technically precious. Just because you're given enough gold and you find no more worth in it, doesn't mean that others can't find worth in it. See, you don't understand the privilege that you have with the amount of time you have, with the amount that you can do with that immortal soul of yours. You don't know what it really means to have that missing... Why am I explaining this to you? You don't care. You you summoned me for your own selfish gain. You're going to be condemned for your own selfish reasons. Why am I... Why do I care so much what happens to you? I mean, okay. All right. You know what? Enough overthinking about this. So, what kind of date would you really want? Is it truly that you just want to curl up on the couch with someone so much that you would sell your immortal soul? You know you can find a nice, you know... Cuddle made somewhere or something for far cheaper than your mortal soul. I mean, hell, if you need the money, I can give you a million dollars, solve all of your problems in an instant, and then you can go buy some company. I mean, that's why workers exist. Heck, you can take a nice trip to Japan and, you know, find a cuddle you know, cafe or whatever they're calling them nowadays, you can find companionship. It doesn't even have to be sexual. You can just go and, like, find someone else. What are you, like, foolish? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, fine. Fine. We'll do this your way. So, we'll be cuddled on the couch. Do I have to pretend to like it? <sighs> Fine. I will find you the most irresistible person in the world. Why am I giving you so much guff? Because it's a waste. Never mind. Easy pickings, easy pickings. 
be grateful for the scraps that they give you. All right. What inane mortal entertainment are you going to make me sit through? I'm I'm sorry, did you just say a marathon? And what films are we watching? Multiple films, mind you. <laughs> okay, okay. And a show... A, okay, an episode of a show? Or are we talking about the whole... So let me get this straight. You want to spend Valentine's Day binge-watching shows on your little TV while we curl up on the couch... Snack until our heart's content, and then... What? I need to know the details of the deal. It is part of my reputation, obviously. That's why it's so important. We hammer it out now. Because if you're unhappy and you try to use, Oh, well, this was not satisfying. That doesn't get you out of the deal. You made a deal. You have to stick with that deal whether you like or are satisfied with the results. You can wish for a million bucks and I run you over with a hundred, you know, <laughs> deer or whatever. Just, you get what the picture? We twist things. We're evil that way. We don't like you beings. Don't you get the... Did you not understand the texts? There are multiple texts about this. We abjectly hate you. Why would you, why would you summon me for this? <laughs> Sorry, I know. I know I said I would stop harping, but oh man, this really got under my skin. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine. I trade a measly eight hours of your day for the rest of your immortal existence. Are you sure that's a fair trade? I can back out of the deal now. I don't have to be that nice. But I will admit, you are pretty cute. I would hate to have to chew on your soul for the rest of your existence, just because you're lonely. Maybe I can show you a good night in. Really give you all of your desires. Every little temptation come to life. You're certain that all you want to do is watch TV. <sighs> This to me, wouldn't you? Ah, oh, you sick son of a... Not you. I'm talking about... Um... I will tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. I will give you hmm, how many chances to ruin your life? Ah, five. I will give you five wishes that you can use however long at whatever point in your entire lifetime. What do you say? Five chances to screw up your life. And I'll even write you an escape clause. Ironclad. The escape clause will be as follows. Should you use all five of your wishes, your soul immediately becomes forfeit, you drop dead where you are, and I chew on your soul for the rest of eternity or until I get bored. However... If you die before you use all five of those wishes, your soul remains forfeit to you, 
and His Holiness's final judgment will determine where you end up. Although, let's be honest, you're not exactly on the road to heaven. The road to perdition looks so much more fun, doesn't it? I'll be honest with you, I'm being this flexible because this is just sad. This is pathetic. You probably were already on your way down here because of your sloth and because of your gluttony or whatever else it is that you engage in or don't engage in. <laughs> this little meandering detour to your road to hell? Well, I might as well enjoy it. Entertain myself. So five wishes. And I'll tell you what. I'll sweeten the deal. You don't even have to use your first wish on our date. That just comes gratis. That means free. Oh, I don't mean to be condescending to you. It just kind of rolls out. It just... Being around humans does this to me. I just... Did I mention how much I loathe human beings? <laughs> you guys disgust me. <laughs> Your fleshy meat sacks. Ugh. Ugh, and all those fluids. I'm no germaphobe, but... Ugh. I was once a being of pure light. Can you believe that? Before I fell? <laughs> now I am a being of pure evil. Anyway... So yeah, don't even have to use your wish on that. And if you want, any of those wishes can be whatever you want, whatever you desire. I have no uh, qualms using up your wishes however you'd like. Uh, obviously, I can't necessarily raise someone from the dead truly. Once they've passed, that's no longer my domain. The Archangel Michael takes particular exception to whenever we try to get involved in their realm. <sighs> fine, 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 fine. One more thing to your escape clause. Since you are so eager for it, I will allow this. If I fall in love with you, which, by the way, I'm a demon. I don't have the capacity to love. It's just kind of not there, but okay. If you make it so I fall in love with you, I won't eat your soul. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, this is just the dumbest thing, but okay. All right, fine. I'll write it in here. You can watch me do it. Still breathe over my shoulder. Ugh, okay. If said demon falls in love with the human, this contract becomes null and void. See? There you go. I'll even give you my name. There. My name. Rabel. You may refer to me as Ra, or Baal, or Rabal. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So what do you say? Think you can get me to fall in love with you, you pathetic being? <laughs> then all you need do is sign right here. Sign your soul away. You've got chances to run. You've got chances to turn back. You can stop this right here, right now. So what do you say? <laughs> All right, then. The choice is always yours. <laughs> now that we've got the paperwork done. There, now I'm in comfortable human clothes. 
And now, let's go to that couch, shall we? We'll cuddle up. I promise I won't fall asleep watching your shows. What's this first one we're watching again? Huh. Uh, let's see how bad it is. <laughs> oh. That's right. The cuddles. Yeah, go ahead and get comfortable. Uh, do you want to lay down, or...? All right. There you go. Fine. You can lay your head in my lap. And you want me to... run my nails through your hair. Okay. What happens if you fall asleep, by the way? Do we have to start this whole thing over, or...? <laughs> fine, fine, fine. <sighs> Maybe this is going to be a little harder than I thought. I mean going through the movie, obviously. It's far more painful than I thought it would be. It's not like I enjoy having you in my lap or anything. Well, you have a... Uh... Do, you like, do you like bugs? Do you like spiders and cockroaches and stuff like that? No, right? So imagine having one in your lap. It's kind of like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm supposed to be more supportive. Right, 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 right. Uh, who's a good human? Yes, you are. Look at you. Wasting your time on entertainment when you can be doing things. Good self-care, human. You're doing such a great job. Who has a harder living than anyone else? You do. You do. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll take this more seriously. Jeez. Calm down. Calm down. Demon's got to have his fun somehow. Anyway, let's see. There, there. And it's going to be okay. We're going to get through whatever this is, and you'll be better for it. Oh, you're wondering what I'm doing now? Uh, essentially, I'm talking to you like I would be talking to myself right now. It's more for me. I'm Oh, right, all right, I'll stop interrupting the movie. Whatever. Dumbass movie, anyway. I'm sorry, you like schlock, all right? You want to know high art? I'll tell you. You want to talk about fine high art? Why don't we watch something by Guillermo del Toro? Or, you know, uh, some Italian film. Uh, you know what my favorite film of all time is? My favorite film... <laughs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. But you want to know? You really want me to tell you? All right. My favorite film of all time. The Passion of the Christ. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but think about it. I got so many people blubbering about what they already knew was a truth. You know, the whole, that Christ guy suffering, right? And even if you don't believe in that sort of thing, it's pretty fucking hilarious to watch. Especially when you think about the whole message of what Christianity is supposed to be about love and accepting and tolerance and all these people going around being hypocrites and then <laughs> yes, it's hilarious. What kind of what kind of deity sends their supposedly only begotten son to be tortured and murdered? <laughs> it's fucking ludicrous. And yet somehow 
That worked. That gave you all salvation. <laughs> it's a cruel reminder of what a joke this universe really is. That's why it's my favorite film. Oh, and because it's written by an absolutely crazed lunatic of a man, that man has lost his rocker. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I might actually begin enjoying talking with you, even if it is me just cutting down your little world. It's nice. As I said, I'm evil to the core. My sense of loathing of everything in this universe. All thanks to that thing that calls itself God. Mm. But I think the most interesting thing about all this is getting to corrupt you. Normally I don't get to do that sort of thing. I just make a deal, chew on some food, but this I'm going to have fun with. Because we both know that at the end of the day, you're still going to be mine. There ain't no way you're getting out of this, little human. And I'm looking forward to your fall. <laughs> oh, and for what it's worth, it's the celebration of St. Valentine. <laughs> Ugh. I hate that word. Saint. Ugh, disgusting. Human beings being divine. Just the idea is just infuriating. But it is Valentine's Day, so I guess happy Valentine's Day, you pathetic human. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Happy Valentine's Day. Human. Better? A lot less insulting, I guess. I don't know why you're keeping me here if you think I'm being mean. It's not like I'm going to change being mean. All right, I guess I could be a little more gentle. I'm sorry, human. I promise to treat you better. After all, you're so remarkable and so beautiful. How could I treat you any differently? Still being condescending, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of a story. I know we're supposed to be watching the movie, but at this point, I, I can't concentrate on this right now. You ever heard the Aesop fable of the scorpion and the frog? Allow me to tell you. So there's this frog, right? Chilling on the side of a river. He's about to cross when he sees a scorpion come up, and the scorpion says, Hey, give me a ride, buddy. Let me climb on your back and float us to the other side of the river. And the frog sees the obvious and says, No, you're going to kill me. You're going to stab me and we're going to both drown. Why would I do this? And the scorpion says, No, no, I would never. I promise. I would never do that. Endanger myself? No, 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 no. I promise I won't sting. And the frog looks at the scorpion. Says, yeah. That makes logical sense, sure. Climb aboard, buddy. And what do you know it? They make it halfway across the river. And the scorpion... Oh, the scorpion does what the scorpion does. He stings that frog so deep and injects his venom. And as the frog feels that pain, he looks up and says, What are you doing? Why would you do this? And the scorpion simply says, You knew what I was. It is in my nature to sting. 
and they both drown. <laughs> oh, lovely tale. Do you see where I'm going with this, human? Why did you summon me, really? If you knew my nature. If you know all of our natures. Were you so desperate? So lonely? So in need of companionship that you would find it at the bottom of any barrel? How honestly pathetic is that? And you think that I'm suddenly going to change and start taking care of you and start treating you right? What do you think we are? You want stories of comfort? You can go on YouTube. You can find any of that anywhere. Oh, also, I should mention that you can't use any of your wishes to make me fall in love with you. That won't work. It has to be organic, by the way. So you're stuck with this. Do you really think you can handle a condescending, demeaning demon? You think there's some good in me. You think that you can change me. Oh, God, this is... The arrogance of it. The arrogance is what gets me. And you are not even aware of your own arrogance and how arrogant you sound right now. But oh, okay, okay. Let's spend the rest of your Valentine's evening doing this then. What do you say? Hmm. All right. Ah, oh, shut up. Stay warm in my lap. Whatever you need. You do feel soft, though. Maybe this flesh isn't so bad. All right, fine. I'll get as close to comfortable as I can, I suppose. <sighs> this is going to be a long week, isn't it? Oh, you think you can outlast a week without using my wishes? Okay. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think it won't be long before you're wishing for all kinds of sort of nifty things. But I guess we'll have to see, won't we? <clears throat> All right. Hello, everyone. It's me, Stroke of Midnight, Mazarus. This one was a dark one, wasn't it? I know some people are into humiliation play and, like, condescension and demeaning. This one... This one's pretty rough still. Um, I wanted to do something different. I know you guys voted on a demon, but, uh... As a Roman Catholic, I'm gonna be honest with you, I kind of figured I'd buck the trend a little bit. Do something a little different. Give you guys a slow burn. So, we'll see Rabel again. And we'll see if you, listener, can change their unliving, unbeating heart. Who knows? Maybe you can. It's going to be fun to see what you guys want to see from this series. Um, I actually would love to explore the story a bit more, since I improvised it. Um, I want to see, can this character change? Can he not? It's going to be a challenge. Um, but you know what? You guys are beautiful listeners. If anyone can change him, maybe it will be all. Who knows? Or maybe this will have a dark ending. I think I'll have you guys vote. Um, tell me in the comments below what you'd like to see next with Rabel. Whether it's uh, in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Uh, 
What do you guys want to see? Do you ever want to see him again? Do you feel like he's a good character or does he need to be flushed down the toilet like a ba- You guys tell me what you want to see. You guys tell me what you think. Vote and kind of tell me, you know, what you'd like to see on a quote-unquote second date with this thing. Do you want to use a wish? What would that wish be? The comments with the most likes, we'll go ahead and then move forward with that. Give you guys some reason to kind of communicate and, like, get... Consider this interactive. Um, I think what I'll do with this series as well in the future is maybe do some, like, multiple choice questions, polls and stuff. Uh, just to try to make this fun. I, I like this unique idea is this, um, this dark, terrible thing being a dark, terrible thing. Uh, pretty much what you get on the tin. I kind of like that, honestly, because uh, there's a lot of ASMR with demons and stuff. I've even done some where they're more sympathetic and they're not so evil and all of that. So, again, I love the idea of the challenge for you as the audience to see what you can do to persuade him not to be evil, if possible. Um, that being said, again, I want to make this fun and interactive with y'all. I think this will probably be the most interactive series that I do um, until I figure out another series, another script series, maybe. In the meantime, a uh, huge thank you to all my patrons and all my subscribers. You guys have made this possible for me to do. Um, this is going to be a special for uh, this is going to appear on Valentine's Day. Uh, so you'll get audios on Thursday still. Uh, I'll be recording those shortly. In the meantime, I want to thank you again for listening, and as always, sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares. It's right there, but if you need help pronouncing it in some way. Time to go to the fantasy name generator and pick out the name for this diamond. Hold oh, by! This is not what any of you expected!